Are Windows updates worth it? A bunch of you have noticed that my desktop has been running Windows 7 with no service pack. And a lot of you said, why aren't you running the service pack? I thought updates were good. Don't you want to be safe and secure like all your friends? Well, yes, I do. But I've had a couple of programs that weren't w working under service pack one. And that was mostly because of a couple of changes in the way the security worked on the system. Since the last week, two of those pieces of software have received updates. And so they're now compatible with service pack one and I've updated. But this is a challenge that you have to decide as a user what's right for you. I typically don't turn on auto updates. There's a couple of reasons. One, I don't like my computer to reboot in the middle of the night because some patch came out. And two, because every so often Microsoft will screw up and release a patch that breaks something. This is before you even start getting into the things like my service pack issue where some software won't run after a service pack or a certain type of patch. So typically what I do is make sure that I get the notifications about updates, but I install them manually. This is not ideal for every user, but it works well for me. If you're trying to decide what to do on your grandmother's machine, definitely turn on Windows updates, definitely turn on the auto install because she's probably at higher risk of having her machine hacked or have a virus because of a vulnerability than she is of having some piece of software not work. On your dedicated game machine, turning off Windows Update, turning off background intelligent transfers and a couple of other services are going to gain you a couple of extra frames per second because you're not going to have those background services running and you're not going to have the Windows Updater downloading things when you're playing your game. If you're an average desktop user, it becomes a little more of a balance. The hassle of having a Windows Update applied that breaks something is definitely very high, but having a vulnerability cause you to lose your productivity machine is also very high. So you probably want to set turn on all critical updates and then manually install optional updates. Microsoft has given you controls in order to do all of these things. So you can make an intelligent decision about what the best way and the best time to apply updates are. As an enterprise IT person, typically what I want to do is say that I am going to apply the updates and I set up an update server all of my desktop machines connect to that update server and only get pushed updates when I have approved them. This gives an enterprise scenario where I can test to see that all of the updates that were applied are compatible with the core software that are running on my network, while also being aware that critical patches can be delivered very quickly on a short turnaround. So, Microsoft has done a very good job giving you all the tools you need to decide when the update should be applied. And now you know why I hadn't updated and what kind of schedule I run.